This building were in the old jail in Mark Square in Roscommon Town. It's believed that it was built between the mid 1730s and the mid 1740s. Um, it was designed by the famous architect Richard Castles. Um, it would have been built because Roscommon was an assizes town, which meant that it held quarterly civil and criminal courts. It also overlooks the building that the original courthouse here in Market Square. There would have been an easy passage for bringing prisoners from the courthouse into the jail. At the time when it was built, it had 36 cells in it. Um, it's believed it also housed the governor's dwellings. Um, it would have been a very bleak place. So the original building would have had a much more castle look to it, um, consisting of belfry up in the top arch. One of the remaining doors can now be seen over in the museum just across the square. The jail itself would have closed around the 1820s. It was said that it just wasn't fit for purpose anymore. There was a new jail built up on the site of the current Garda station. It's believed that after that time, it became used as um, a lunatic asylum, as it would have been called back then. Um, and over the years then, it changed its use and became eventually commercial and residential property. So there was a very famous, very notorious um, hangwoman um, connected to this building, the only hangwoman in Ireland, they think Lady Betty. Um, her story has been told over and over again. Um, very sad story. She moved from County Kerry and uh, lived here with her one surviving son. And when he came of age, he emigrated, I was supposed to make his fortune. She had an inn here in the town where she took in people that were traveling by, I suppose, for a few pennies. But she wouldn't have seen her son for many, many years. And the story goes that one night, there was a knock on the door and this tall gentleman arrived at the door um, looking for lodgings. Um, she realized fairly quickly that he had money and um, she decided that this was quite unfair, you know, why he, had, why he had so much and she had so little. So she decided to murder him in the night, um, which she did. And she took all his money, but in going through his papers, realized that he was her long lost son. So she was sentenced to death. Um, here in Roscommon Jail. Um, and at the time, there was her, it said that there was her and 24 other people who were due to be executed. There was no hangman on the day to do the job. Um, so she stepped forward and said that she would do it. And she lived here in the jail and they, the hangings used to take place outside in the square for many years. But it was decided because there was too much interaction, I think, with members of the public that they decided to move the gallo actually outside of her cell. So, which would be on the third story, on the left of the building. Um, and it said that the prisoners used to have to crawl out through her window and she used to release the platform. And there's still remaining hinges of that platform that can be seen today outside of what was said to be her cell. The story goes also that she used to do sketches of them with a burnt stick. Um, and Oscar Wilde's father, actually, William Wilde, wrote about this and that her, at the time when she died, the cell was covered in drawings of all of her victims. Declan Donlan um, is the playwright and author who wrote a play called Lady Betty about our notorious hangwoman. Uh, he wrote this play in 1989 and Declan um, is, has roots in Roscommon and he heard about the story and just found it so fascinating and so unique and so tragic um, that he decided to write a play about it. And Declan actually received an OBE for his contribution to theatre. The building would have been totally revamped in the late 1980s. Um, all the cells were demolished at that time. The front part of the building still retains a lot of the stone features, like the restaurant that we're in today. Um, and which is beautiful to see. The remaining part of the jail is residential um, and with a lot of shop units on the ground floor, um, which are all busy, which is great to see. So it's a thriving place today. <laughs>